In this video, we're going to find out how much it cost us to take our dog, Pablo, across to France and to Europe. So before we go any further, I might look a little bit sweaty, but I've just been watching Police Interceptors on TV. So before we go into the steps, I'm assuming that your dog is microchipped. Step one, you need to get a rabies jab. This has to be done at least 21 days before you travel to Europe. Now we booked in at the vets, Pablo got his rabies jab, didn't bother him at all, no side effects and it cost us £65 for a little vial like that. And then we had to move to step two which was to get an animal health certificate or AHC for short. So how we did this, we had to book in at our vets a maximum of 10 days before we were set to travel. We had to tell the vets what our first port of call was when we hit Europe, so in our case it was France. We were going across by Euro Tunnel, so we had to tell them all that. And then when we got to the appointment, we had to take Pablo with us. They scanned his microchip and they filled out all the paperwork and put their rubber stamps all over it. And we had to then take these forms along with us on our trip to present them at the border. So this was the most expensive part of the process. It cost us £185 from our vets. We have seen it for cheaper. We've also seen it for more money. But in the north of England, £185 by possibly the, the largest vets in the area, that's what it costs. So it should give you some idea. The third step is a step that we didn't appreciate we had to do. So hopefully this isn't going to catch you out. Between one and five days before returning to the UK, you have to find a vet from the country that you're leaving. So in our case, it was France. So we have to find a French vet so that they can administer tapeworm medication. Then that gets stamped on the animal health certificate and then you're free to leave the country and re-enter the UK. That costs in the region of £40. So to add all that together, it's actually cost us £290 to get Pablo out of the country and back in. To put that in perspective, both mine and Claire's ticket on the Eurotunnel, the return ticket, was £150 each. So it's very expensive taking a dog across to Europe. One thing to note is that the animal health certificate only lasts for four months and you've got a maximum of one month of travel within that time in Europe. So it's an expensive thing to do if you're going to be going across the continent regularly. Hopefully this video has helped, a little bit different to our normal ones, but if we can help you out by what we've learned, then that's all good. If you've taken your dog across to Europe and you found the cost different to ours or you did something different, then let us know in the comments below. If you have got any questions, put them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it's been of help and we'll see you on our next adventure.